Hello, my name is Julia Shida, and I'm a nephrology fellow at UCSF. Today, I'll be discussing my research regarding the association between receipt of IV iron and clinical outcomes among hemodialysis patients hospitalized for infection. Guidelines for the treatment of anemia of chronic kidney disease have recommended caution, avoidance, or withholding of IV iron in the setting of active infection. However, these recommendations are based on limited data and no data specifically supports the recommendation to withhold IV iron in the setting of active infection. The objective of my project was to evaluate the association between receipt of IV iron and clinical outcomes among hemodialysis patients hospitalized for infection. Using the United States Renal Data System, I identified 23,306 Medicare covered adults on in-center hemodialysis who had received IV iron within 14 days of their first infection for bacterial infection in 2010. I evaluated the association between receipt of IV iron at any point between admission and discharge on all-cause mortality, 30 days after admission for 2010, length of stay, and readmission for infection within 30 days of discharge. Approximately 11% of the cohort had received IV iron at any point between admission and discharge, and 93% received their only dose on the day of admission. Receipt of IV iron at any point from admission to discharge was not significantly associated with higher mortality, length of stay, or readmission for infection. Receipt of at least 100 milligrams, or iron sucrose, the most commonly used agent, were not significantly associated with adverse outcomes. While we are not able to make a statement regarding the continued use of IV iron during a hospitalization for infection, our data do not support the practice of withholding IV iron upon admission for infection in hemodialysis patients.